Hey friends, it's Saturday and this is Nancy Todd from Oils First. I want to welcome you here this morning and um, so I hope your Saturday, your weekend is going really well or you'll have some fun time later. So I'm stopping by today because uh, I had run out of my facial serums and I needed to replenish them and I thought what a perfect time to also come and share them with you. So I hope um, that you will enjoy this. Our skin is one of our biggest organs and so we need to take care of it. Um, it needs hydration, it needs nutrition and nourishment and the things that we do to take care of these things show up as results later that we enjoy or we don't enjoy or whatever the case may be. So I wanted to share these with you as I make them for myself. So um, let's see. I've got two recipes because I use one at nighttime and one in the daytime. And so I want you to have an idea of what you can use. It expands your knowledge of essential oils, which is why we are here. It helps you to have a DIY if you're a DIY person. And so I just want to share these with you. So let's get, we're not going to talk about toxins. We already know that those should be um, out, out of our lives. And so you know what you need to do there. Also, um, we have different carrier oils that we can use in the process of making these DIYs. Now, some backstory for me. I always had very troubled skin. I had um, acne, I had cyst acne. And so these things just um, were troublesome for me. And I was, I've been on this journey to figure out how to fix that. How, what do I need to make changes for? And sometimes that is hard to do. And it was for me, and so the journey has been long, but I am really happy with how things are turning out for me. So the first serum I'm going to give you is going to, compose. this is my daytime serum. It's gonna be frankincense, it's gonna be rose and myrrh. And then the nighttime one that I like is frankincense, jasmine, lavender, and cedarwood. And so I'm gonna tell you how I'm going to, I'm gonna show you how to do that and then show, tell you about the carrier oils because you need a care. It's good to have a carrier oil. What happens is with the carrier oil, the essential oils take it deeper. So we have the surface layer, but we want to take that deeper so that our lines, our aging process can be diminished. And so as regardless of how we feel about aging, that is going to happen to us. So today I have sweet almond oil. I have a grapeseed oil. I also have a vitamin E oil, but I don't use that so much on my, my, skin, my face. And then I have sunflower oil. Now, this is a cooking oil, but I seem to like it. And if I could find a facial oil with sunflowers, that would be good. Okay, so um, there's a different viscosity with each of these oils. Viscosity means how they pour, how much liquid is there in that oil. The sunflower oil happens to be the lightest. The, it's, it's lightest on our skin. It flows very easily. The um, sweet almond oil is a little heavier. And the grapeseed oil is very close to the sunflower oil. Um, and so, you know, you could interchange, you could use either one or, or the other. The other thing with grapeseed oil is it will help reduce the viscosity of the other one. So today when I make my nighttime one, uh, I'm going to use a combination of the grapeseed oil and the sweet almond oil. And I'll tell you about the background there. So we've got um, some details here. I have found that as I have aged and as my skin has got better, healing up, I've um, made different choices with my water. I drink about a gallon of water a day. I also uh, make lifestyle food choices that are different, that are helping my skin to improve. And so these steps are very important for us to get the results that we have. So before I go on any further, let's jump into the process. So here today is I've got a one ounce bottle that has a dropper. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my essential oils to that. Oops. 
And so I have um, this, this bottle here would make like three recipes of what I'm giving you. So if you're just new at this and you want to just try it out, this just make a third of the bottle. So this, the recipe is like three drops of frankincense. Okay. And then now the rose oil and the frankincense and the myrrh are very, are thicker. So they don't, you may or may not see the drops of oil into there. So, okay. And that was uh, one drop of rose for three drops of frankincense. And then the myrrh is going to be two drops. All right. So there we have our daytime mixture. So what I like to do is I like to take it and swirl it. You probably can't see the liquid in there just to mix it really nicely. And then I'm going to top it off with my sunflower oil. All right. So again, we're going to swirl it. And now you can use anywhere from three, you know, one, two, three, you have to know your skin. Um, you have to know what combination it is. Uh, you know whether you're young or you have mature skin, you have dry skin. The, all these parts play into this. And so the amount that you're going to use on, on a daily basis is going to be up to you. I always say start small. Start with a small amount. Let's say two drops. Put it in your moisturizer and put it on your face. If you're going to put it on your, you can also put it on your face and leave it for five to seven, 10 minutes and then wipe it off with a warm washcloth. The other thing is you can put it on before you get into the shower, you know, let the steam and all that work its magic while you're showering and then wash it off there. So you have to decide, is it going to be apply it and take it off? Is it going to be applied and leave it? Now, I'm going to tell you when I first started using the serums, I needed to leave them on all day and all night. And so I would put them on, put my moisturizer over it, and the healing that it did in that time was wonderful. And so as my skin has changed, I do apply it, leave it on for a while, take it off, and put my moisturizer on. The warm wash washcloth, of course, always feels great. And so, you know, you find out what works for you. Okay, second serum that I'm making, this is what I call my nighttime one. And it also has frankincense in it, Th three drops. Can you see that? And we also have three drops of lavender. Okay, and then cedar wood. I like this one at night because cedar wood and lavender are so great for my rest resting time. One, two, two drops of cedar wood and jasmine. Uh, have you used jasmine before? Now this is kind of thick too, so we'll have to see whether it comes out. Now this is going to be true two drops as well. It's kind of dark color, so you probably could see that. And so now I had told you I was going to mix it with, okay, I'm going to swirl it, swirl it, and then I'm going to put on my sweet almond oil. Now I'm not going to take the chance of, um, pouring that here. So I'm just gonna take my dropper and I'm gonna put a couple of squirts of the almond oil into, into here and, um, f you know, do that. And then my sweet almond oil, or my um, grapeseed oil is going to be uh, another one. I love it when my, my oils come, my carrier oils come in a glass jar not always is that the case, but that's a good point to look for. Also, when you're looking for your carrier oils, you want them to be um, cold pressed. If you can, you want them. And so then I've got that in there. So I'm going to swirl that. Like I said, this bottle would make about three recipes. And so I like to fill that up because I don't want to get everything out very often. Um, so you want your oil, your carrier oils to be organic, cold pressed, and um, and so and raw if you can. That's not always possible, but it's a good standard to have um, when you're looking for those essential oils. So again, the nighttime serum can be used in the same way. Apply it, leave it on your skin for a while, 
uh, remove it with a warm washcloth or leave it on under your, under your moisturizer. The viscosity, again, is the weight of the oil and the heavier it's going to be. Like I needed the moisture when I first started. And so, but now I don't want to create more wrinkles or more lines. So I'm using the lighter viscosities or the combination between the grapeseed and the, the um, sweet almond oil. I love the smell of the sweet almond oil. So um, I hope that you've enjoyed this, that you, if you're a DIY person, this is perfect for you. Young Living has serums that are beautiful in their own right. So if you're not a DIY person, be sure to ask me about those because um, there is some beauties right in it that they're already made, ready to make, made and ready to go. I like to have these because sometimes you just want a different consistency or maybe I've run out, you know, there's different reasons for, for having these recipes um, that I can make on my own. So anyway, I want, if you haven't got connected with me, I hope that you will. I'll put a link in the bottom later where you can get connected with me so that we can keep going with your essential oil journey. Um, you can maybe get connected with one of my classes that goes into the details of skin type and other stuff, you know, other care of your skin. And so I just want to thank you for stopping by today. I hope that you benefited from showing up. And so I, I'm just wishing you a wonderful weekend. So thank you for that. And uh, this is Nancy signing off from Oils First. Take care and have a wonderful weekend.